commentary. Woo Say, when you hear the word let's play, what are some of the fundamental aspects you uh, think about when you hear that term? Uh, let's see. Comedy, gameplay, information, montages, and so on and so on. It is those aspects in which it makes a let's play enjoyable to watch. Unfortunately, this certain let's play is what I am going to be commentating on, and it's from a user named Chippy Nicodemix. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm gonna get some hiders in here, but you know what? Fuck it. I've watched the video. It's fucking bad. I'm sorry. Now, what I'm gonna be doing to keep this video in one part, I'm only gonna be going after the general parts of the Let's Play instead of the boring parts, and it's pretty much it. So, unfortunately, let's begin. Salutations one and all, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Colors! Hey, folks. Hey, hey. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay. You notice how Mike Pollock set that line? Okay. Keep this in mind. This is the only, only good part of the Let's Play video. Other than that, it's all downhill from here. Hey now, that's my line. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying. Uh, I just kidding. That, that was awesome, bro. But yeah, welcome to Oh god, he hit the start button. That means I'm in hell, am I? Let's play Sonic Colors. Uh this is this is gonna be a lots of fun. Fun? Fun? I think the word Fun is an understatement for this video. Believe me, folks, just watch. Let me help you. So, how are you doing tonight, Mike? So far, so good, but the night is young. Well, it's not, but the night is old, and so far, so good. <laughs> you know that chuckle that Demix does every time Pollock has to make a statement? Get used to that. A lot. Sega! Alright, so here we are in the title screen. Wow, that is that's horrible. <laughs> Hence the name. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so here we are, we're getting thrown right in the game. Let's do it! So this is your actually this is your first time seeing an actual gameplay of this game, correct? Basically, I don't play games, I just appear in them occasionally. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Mike Pollock saying it's not a gamer or anything. <laughs> uh, this watch play is not going to go too well, isn't it? Now, I do stop from time to time to, uh, to hear what we have to say over the intercom. Okay. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to pick up on any lines you hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> That's my compliment. I mean, but, but. Oh my god, I, I swear, you like, you take these lines and you make them your own. You know, that's what they hide me You know, I would understand what, you know, the PA system or what Pollock and Demix is trying to say if the audio didn't fucking suck. Now, I understand that he made a later episodes of this Let's Play where the audio is supposedly better, but correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he do other Let's Play videos before this one that actually had, you know, at least decent audio quality? And if the one from the past are decent, why isn't this one decent as well? Just asking is all. I just love it. I mean, it's I, I I really feel like you uh like you really enjoyed yourself while you were doing uh you were doing lines. There was nothing not to like. 
and he's parked a little too much yelling, but that's an Oscar Pitch Mojave. Right. But the, the writing was brilliant, so... Oh, definitely. Uh, okay, I will admit, I, do, I did enjoy the writing in the game. Too bad I can't hear it in this fucking video. Stop the writing, sir. Yeah, I I love the writing. It just it makes it feel like it makes it feel like you know like old times, you know. Mm -hmm. You did a fine fine job, and I'm glad that I could read like their words and lift them off the page if you like this. You know, I just love how you got stuck in that particular area whatsoever. Here's a musical score for such a tremendous scene. Alright, so here you see um you can like uh move over on the rail to like get uh get two more points. I really don't see what was so impressive, I was just pushing the airbus. But if you say so, motivational speaker. Okay, I'm sorry, but am I really the only one that thinks whenever Dimmix talks, he acts like he's eating a sandwich right in front of Pog? I'd give it two thumbs up. <laughs> I think that was sarcasm. Alright, so that's it. That's stage one complete. Cool. And we did rather well with the b considering that, uh... A few of those uh, red rings we couldn't uh, we couldn't get. We have to actually backtrack. Boring, boring, backtrack boring. This so is fucking a, boring. Like well, we don't couldn't get have that done it for a while. Couldn't have done it better myself, quite literally. <laughs> How much better do you think you could have done? It would have taken me an hour to get that far. <laughs> Yes, that's so unreasonably funny, my bullet. Yeah. I mean, God, is he gonna do that every single time Mike Pollock makes his statement? He's just gonna make some witty little laughter in the background? God, I'd rather be watching a random anime panel at an anime convention than this. Uh, I think the cards are broken, too. Mm hmm. Yeah, you wanna check on that. Alright, so that's Red Ring number two. What? Number one we can't get right now. Obviously we need to drill, and we don't get that until we roll two. So. Up until then, those yellow captains will appear as transparent as well. That's me. God damn it, put down the fucking sandwich and fix your fucking audio. I mean, that is my one of my biggest gripes with this video. For some weird reason, reason in this particular video your audio quality is below mediocre i could barely understand what you two are saying and i'm lucky that i can hear some of the dialogue that you two are actually speaking and that right there you need the laser to do and you don't get that till uh level three or i'm sorry uh stage three in this way how much do you remember Hawaii style motif for uh, when he was like when he was building the show. I'm sure it was on set. <laughs> okay, what was so funny about that line? What is so goddamn funny? I didn't even fucking laugh. I I'm asking my viewers right now. Did you find this part funny? Anybody? Cause I didn't. What was the joke? What was the pun? Somebody fucking tell me. God damn it! I'd rather watch Nostalgia Critics Let's Play on Bart's Nightmare. And even that video was fucking shit. We found your key. Really, really. I didn't. I wasn't aware Sonic drove. I thought he, you know, ran. He, he, he normally doesn't have me for, you know, wheels. Who cares? No, we didn't specify the keys to what. No, well, I guess we did, but. Maybe he meant his keys to a storage locker out back where he keeps his spare shoes 
from all the running that he does with Will. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to go on that ride! Nah, it's overrated. Anybody knows that Mike Pollock is at least trying, trying to make this Let's Play at least enjoyable? Yeah, alright then. Welcome to Adventure Incredible Ingester Amusement Park, where you can enjoy five planets for the price of one. He loves the really? Let's Play. How much does one planet cost? I'm pretty sure that alone is enough to break the bank. Want to come here. Yes, and besides, where would you, where would you keep no, it? I'm not sure <laughs> why we're here. Excuse me. What is so goddamn funny? What's the fucking joke? God damn it! Ah! Mike Pollock, what has he done to you? This place looks totally harmless. Yeah, not to mention it's totally abandoned. You two are the only ones there. Equals evil plot for us to foil. More importantly, how did Eggman get a hold of the zoning rights to build this place? Like, it's it's just a gigantic floating amusement park in the middle of space. He has connections. He knows the owner of space, Mr. Space himself. <laughs> Can't be mad I guess that's you. where he gets all this his money. I mean, hell, he's, he's made two level. different space stations. He's made the Ark, and he's here. made, uh, the oh. Death Egg. You know, it's funny when you claim you're a Sonic fan when your knowledge on the Sonic franchise is abysmal. So, okay, first of all, Dr. Eggman didn't create the Space Colony Ark. It was his grandfather, Professor Jared Robotnik. And secondly, he made what? Four other space stations? Like, let's see, the Death Egg, the Death Egg 2 from Sonic Fighters, some spaceship and uh, one of the Sonic Advance games, and that space Amada and Sonic Unleashed. Which is <clears throat> blatant uh, Death Star ripoff. Well, you know, imitation is the sincerest form of ripoff. <laughs> God! Moose, if you're watching this, I am so fucking pissed off right now. I mean, jeez, it's like it's a fucking formula now. Hi, I'm Gimmick. I'm funny. Mike Pog. Yeah. Mike Pog. Yeah. I'm funny. Mike Pog. Yeah. Oh, goody, good. I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Mike, the what did you do? You gonna trash the place? Nah, I just showed up. You left the keys in the ignition. Great job. Again with the keys. That's the trouble with this game. It should be called Sonic Keys. The keys are the key to all of <laughs> Okay, this is official. This is not funny anymore. I'm just skipping to the end of this so I can end this whole charade. Anyway, uh, that just pretty much does it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Also, don't forget to check out the Game Tune Zone for more awesome videos with me and my friends. Just click the link below. Uh, anything you'd like to add before we close out? I thought it's something that Mike Paul could add. <laughs> no problem, Mike. Man, it's a, it's been a pleasure having you. Thanks for uh, joining us. Oh, well, this has been Chibi. We're out. Bye bye. You know, as soon as the video was over, I think Mike Pollock was thinking to himself, Snively, grab me the vodka. <sighs> so in other words, you sucked at the audio, you lacked knowledge of the Sonic f franchise, you're not funny, and you've wasted Mike Pollock's time. End of story. This is T4 saying have a nice day, everybody. Now, if you all may excuse me, I'm gonna go take my rage on a Demix doll. <laughs>